it's a it's a huge deal, Carla. And so once we get towards the end of the timeline, you'll see how it may impact areas of the deep south. So let's start by looking at the imminent warning storm surge warning. Like Carla mentioned, we're talking about sea level rises seven to maybe even 10 feet above the sea level. So that's why you see storm surge warnings from the Big Bend region around Cedar Key through areas of Pasco and Hernando around Tampa Bay, Hillsborough County, all the way as far south as the Keys. So sections of West Central Florida still looking very closely at what is the direct path of the eye of the storm. However, hurricane warnings continue for Fort Myers and north of Tampa Bay. The category three hurricane right now is moving due north, so it is directly moving due north. It's not moving westerly. It's moving due north at 10 miles per hour, 115 mile per hour winds on this forecast track. It still does have Ian potentially skirting the southwestern sections of Florida early Wednesday morning as a category four hurricane. But Wednesday morning through Thursday morning, it may only travel about five or six counties on the west coast of Florida. So we look towards this tropical weather feature for our weekend rain chances as it moves up the Carolina coast.